Good morning. Uh, welcome to Willow Canyon TV production studio. I'm Lolo, and today I have a special guest with me. This is Mr. Matthew Earl Jones. How are you? I'm fine, Lolo. Thanks for having me. <laughs> no problem. Uh, so today I would like to conduct a little interview with you, if that's all right. Sure. And I'm going to ask you a couple of questions about what you do. What are what is exactly the state? commissioner like do what do i do yeah, as a like state what's your film position? what's my so my exact title is i'm the director of the film and digital media program for the arizona commerce authority commonly referred to as the state film commissioner um, in a nutshell in the same way that tourism convinces you to come here and spend your tourism dollars and visit this great state my job is to convince you to come here with your production whether well, it's a movie, a television show, commercial, still photos, and do that work here in the state of Arizona as opposed to other states in the region. What are the important key concepts that students should maybe like learn while in high school for like film productions? I think you guys are already kind of doing that. I was going to say, and, and when I was in school, we didn't have all this. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of, it was purely academic, it was more theory of film. We didn't actually touch equipment. So what I would advise to anyone is the more you can physically touch equipment um, and practice your craft, that's invaluable. And now with the, the quality of cell phone cameras, you see people shooting projects with their cell phone. So anytime you can balance what you learn in theory in an academic environment by being in the real world and actually doing it, you're putting yourself way ahead of the competition. Where would you see Hollywood being in Arizona? So there's been a steady migration uh, for many years. I moved here from LA. I was a commercial line producer. I moved here 18 years ago. And at that time, more people were coming from Southern California than any place else. And that trend has only increased. So I know of right now a couple of producers who moved here. One has a 10 picture contract with Hulu and a series with sci-fi and another gentleman is working on a five picture slate so the things that are are pushing business to Arizona um, streamlined permitting quality of life cost of operating those things that f uh, work for a any business work for film as well so I think you're seeing a steady increase as people are leaving California and are looking for the next place to go and Arizona is, is perfectly poised to get a large share of that of that business. Could you give us any like insight on what's being produced in Arizona right now? Um, so right now COVID is, has devastated a lot of industries including ours. So we're right now a lot of the major studios that are you know beholden to the unions and the requirements that they, they are asking for have delayed production. So I think you see across the region, productions are down. We've been doing a steady stream of commercials and uh, episodic television. A friend of mine is shooting something right now for Discovery Channel. Uh, but I think you're gonna see there's a, a whole backlog of production that's been delayed and I think we're gonna have a very busy summer and fall. Yes, that, that you know, does sound. That's with the assumption that the vaccine will be out, mm -hmm. that, that, that people will be more comfortable. But one advantage we have is a lot of people are willing to drive as opposed to fly. And a drive from L.A. to here is a lot shorter than a drive from L.A. to Albuquerque. So I think we have a distinct advantage being so close to California and all the other things we have for our infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So here we have a desert we have like very many kids like interested in this program and especially along with myself and I was wondering like are there any options for students who like end up graduating and like want to continue in the film making career like any opportunities outside of high school like right after yeah that's actually and and I was saying to Brian um, that's one of the state film office's main uh, priorities um, I, it's no secret that creativity is owned by the young. It's always been like that. And if the brightest minds that we have and the most tech savvy feel they can learn their craft here, but they can't practice it here and they go to LA, we're never going to be able to realize our full potential. 
So recently the State Film Office has started a training program so that people can actually supplement what they're learning in this environment, which this environment is superior, as you know, to a lot of other schools that don't have the benefit of professional equipment. I mean, you're touching broadcast quality equipment. A lot of people don't have that. So already your district is at an advantage. Um, but what we're doing is we do seminars where we come in with a grip truck, or we take people to a full sound stage, and the people that are instructing it are working professionals. So not only do you learn in a more real world environment, but you're also making contacts with people who can hire you. And so whenever you can have an opportunity, uh, and people can t contact the state film office, and I'm sure there'll be a, a logo or something at the end, but if not, it's gofilmaz.com. Um, once again, that's gofilmaz.com. We're part of the Arizona Commerce Authority, so a banner will come up that says Film and Digital Media. That's how you know you're in the right place. Um, but more and more we're seeing opportunities because so much business is coming here, and I would encourage everybody to be doing anything you can to make those contacts. You know, most people recognize that your generation is far more tech savvy than mine, and the whole world has changed. So. What some people may think is a disadvantage is actually a huge advantage for you. Mm -hmm. So I would recommend you see any opportunities to get involved. Uh, maybe it's with a student project at a college. And in the area, there's Huntington University, there's Grand Canyon, there's lots of great universities and community colleges. So I would look at building those bridges to the next level of education so that you can work in this environment but also work on college projects and that should give you the resume to be ready to hit the workforce. So. Hmm. That was interesting. Um, so as we in, like, finish up this interview, do you have any questions for me? How long have you been doing this? Um, I am only a sophomore so I've been doing this since my freshman year. You're very good. I think, <laughs> I think, you. I think you gotta, <laughs> I think you, you know, you make people feel comfortable. Um, what what made you interested in, in, is it broadcast journalism or is it film in general or media? What, what um, got you interested? So my freshman year, I just took the class not knowing exactly what it was. But then coming my sophomore year, as I got to like, in, like I was introduced to the Morning Roar and like mm -hmm. everyone that was doing it and Miss T had talked to us about it. And I was just like, I want to be that person up there talking. Yep. So sooner or later I ended up being that person up there talking so I am now the lead anchor for the morning roar well you've got it down I, <laughs> Thank and, you. and I and you know I encourage people the entertainment industry is about storytelling whether it's a script or whatever at the end of the day it comes down to telling a story from a point of view mm -hmm. and I think more and more people recognize that the younger point of view is very valid and so I think there's a lot of interest in hearing stories told by young people. And that's, that is a good thing, and that's something that I see growing. You know, certainly when I was your age, that was not the case. So you're, you're lucky that you're coming along <laughs> in, a you know, yes. in a different time. And you're, it's, it's wonderful, like, uh, you know, I went to a great school in Connecticut. We had nothing like this. We had nothing like this. We didn't even have classes like this. So you took an acting class. So I think you're in a great position where technology has made things much more affordable and you've got the support of the school and the district. So I would say, keep telling your story. <laughs> thank you. Definitely, thank all you. All right, well, that's all we have for you today. Thank you if you tuned in. Um, I'm Lolo and this is Mr. Jones. Um, thank you <laughs> for Please call me Matthew. <laughs> Hopefully I'll see some of you on a set sometime soon. Yes, thank you for meeting with me. My pleasure, thank you for having me.